So I received this piece of cedar from my uncle uh, about a week ago. Um, he, we uh, cut it, put it on the log splitter, split it in half to get two bowl blanks out of it. And he basically, he gave me the wood and said, here, if you can make me something with it, it'd be great. Uh, and so the idea was make him something with one piece and I'll keep the other piece either to sell or keep it for our home. But I had a really cool idea. Initially, I was thinking, I'll just turn both of these. But then I thought it would be cool to power carb one and to turn the other and to show some of the advantages or disadvantages of those two styles of woodworking. Most notably, the biggest limitation being my lathe is only has a 16 inch throw, which means that one of these is only going to be 16 inches. So I could power carve a bowl around the same size, but I think it would be neat to show the big advantage of power carving. And that's that realistically, the amount of time and work you want to put into it is the only limitation to the size of something that you can make, which is pretty neat. And of course with a lathe, I can make a bigger bowl, but that requires spending thousands of more dollars to get a bigger lathe. Um, so yeah, I think that's a pretty good advantage and maybe gonna be a win for the power carving. So uh, I'm gonna grab out the chainsaw. I'm gonna work these into two blanks, one of them into a 16 inch plank for the lathe and the other, I'm just gonna rough it out a little bit more and really try to take advantage of the full size of this cedar blank.
and here they are roughed out, ready for the lathe, ready to be power carved. They smell amazing. Can't wait to, to finish them. So here's the cedar, all power carved up. I left it pretty hefty. It's got a crack here. I'm gonna glue this and then use a ratchet strap to clamp it all together. And then I'll probably come back and add some copper stitching. I've seen that done a lot, never tried it. Um, copper. Or maybe even leather. Maybe I'll do um, some leather stitching. That could be cool. But uh, we'll see. So here's the power card bowl. I did decide to take that piece off that was cracking. I just figured it was better for the bowl to be sturdy. And this thing's heavy. But it is pretty neat. I'm ready to get some oil on it. Really see this green pop. 